Larry Poncho Brown. I remember going to an art exhibit and meeting Larry Poncho Brown. He had a booth next to Charles Bibbs and all these other great artists. And it was something about this brother's art and his swag that I was like, I gotta talk to this guy. Hey, bro, you know, I'm Kilo and I'm doing this and da da Of course, Poncho was a ladies' man, so all the different ladies was all in his booth trying to talk to him. And I know he's standing there like, Rod, don't you see the ladies? And I'm still like, yeah, man, I got an art gallery. And you know what? We selling some of your art in there. And I guess after a while, he was like, look. He gave me his attention like, what? Man, and I'm like, yo, here's a shirt. I had a hand painted shirt. He was like, yo, thanks, bro. And I was like, yo, can I get your contact so we can, you know what I'm saying, on some art, you know what I mean? <sighs> Bro, here. Make a long story short, I wanted to be in the art world so bad, my paintings, which I thought was dope and some of my friends thought was dope too, to me, I didn't feel like it could compete with all of the amazing art inside these exhibits that these artists were doing. So me, being who I am, I'm gonna say to myself, I still wanna be in the art world and I wanna have a name for myself. So I started to think, hmm, and I come up with an idea. I said, all these artists out here in the world, nobody has really ever acknowledged them because I recognize that I knew their art. And I was familiar with a lot of the art I've seen in people's houses, refrigerator magnets, air fresheners, all kinds of stuff. Their art was everywhere. I didn't know some of their names and I didn't know what they looked like. So I came up with an idea. Save the Arts Awards. It's the first award show to award painters, sculptors, architects, and photographers. And don't forget I said the first in the world. <laughs> Put that on record. So when I did this first show, I asked some of the great of the greats to come. Larry Pancho Brown, Charles Bibbs, Leo Rucker, Annie Lee, and a whole lot more. And they came and it was in green Greensboro, North Carolina was over 600 people in attendance. It was amazing. Everybody was there, was blown away. And my award, my award was bomb. It is the Grammys for the visual artist. Stop playing with you, boy. And don't forget the name. It's called Save the Arts Awards. So a couple years later, Macho comes to me and he says, hey, I got this idea. So I'm like, well, what's the idea, bro? I want to do a documentary about all the artists from my era. Well, what you going to call it, bro? We're going to call it the golden age of African-American art. So I said, well, what does that mean, bro? There's a period of time where African Americans were actually making money off the art. Cause you know, before that, a lot of the art that was done by African Americans, you really couldn't get it in your home. A lot of people took art like Basquiat and stuff like that. They took that art and they put it in museums and we never saw it and we couldn't afford to see it or touch it. But then this golden age happened where not only could you actually own some of this art, but there was actually exhibitions where these artists were selling prints and posters and originals and they were actually making millions of dollars. I asked Charles Bibbs, I said, Mr. Bibbs, I'm kind of nosy, right? Which money did you make in like a month? He told me, man, I made over $83,000 a month. I said, wow. What? And me and Pancho went on tour, Philly, PA, Maryland, DC, Atlanta, all the way to California to do these interviews. We did 30 different interviews and guess what? Now we're in the process of editing and the golden age of African-American art is coming by Larry Pancho Brown and your boy Rashim Kilo Pew, AKA Mr. Save the Arts. We gonna rock some history with this one, y'all. And if you don't know who Larry Pancho Brown is, I suggest you look him up, look his art up and his stuff is the bomb diggity. Although it's hard to buy an original because it's very expensive. You can buy some prints off his website, but he also got some art that he donated to save the art so that we can auction it off to you. I'll let you know when we do an auction. But today we celebrate my boy Larry Pancho Brown. I salute you, my brother. You are one of the best of the best of the best to have done it to do it, period. That's it. Say the arts.